All right, so let's cut to the chase. Um, I hadn't seen anybody bring this up, even though it's pretty obvious. Uh, it's not much of a solution, but it's kind of an answer. So one thing I noticed is that if your your MIDI device, if your manufacturer, in this case it's Korg, the nano keys here, if your manufacturer has its own uh, drivers, its own proprietary drivers that you can go to their website and download, then it's going to work. Now, if it's not, or if it doesn't have its own drivers, and it's, uh, ironically enough, if, if it's plug and play like the uh, MPK Mini, then it might not work for you. Um, if you start running into problems, whatever, there's a problem with the generic MIDI uh, devices that auto install on Windows. For whatever reason, I read this post that made this argument that it had something to do with it thinking it's like video or something. It, it starts treating it like a video device. And um, it might that might make sense because the MPK Mini was actually working for me initially. Then it stopped working. And that point where it stopped working was at some point after I, I had installed uh, After Effects, which is a video uh, program. So maybe there is something to that. Um, but it, that's basically it. If your manufacturer has a driver, install that driver, and it should work. Um, if it's Windows, uh, if you're using the the um, the generic MIDI device uh, drivers, it, it seems to be something of a crapshoot. The uh, this one's worth mentioning though. The uh, M Audio, the Key Rig uh, Forty Nine, that everybody, every musician has this, just randomly spawns in your house at some point. And this guy is it's worth bringing up one because I actually got it to work briefly, uh, and I was messing around with the device manager in uh, Windows. Um, but the bigger point is. This one, it's so old that it has XP drivers, their website, XP, maybe Vista, and Windows 7. That's as high up as it goes. Well, I tried the Windows 7 driver, and it actually worked. So even if the drivers are old, it might be worth giving it a shot and seeing if that works. So manufacturer drivers, try those. It should work. And But if it's using the generic drivers, it might not work. And it might have something to do with video and it certainly seem it seems most certainly has something to do with the generic drivers when you install it it recognizes it but then something some wires get crossed and it just kind of stops working but i wish i had more than that but uh, hopefully that helps somebody